Hey, well, 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 papel. So ngayon, meron tayong bagong topic. Our topic for today is all about science and technology. So before anything else, again, this is Mr. Daryl Del Mundo. Do not forget to watch, like, and subscribe to my channel. So let's start. Okay, to start with, let us talk about science and technology, which is an introduction before we go further to our topic. Science is a systematized body of knowledge that undergone a process using the scientific method. This improves our daily lives because science is everywhere. And it came from the Latin word scientia, which means to know. Then, technology is the application of scientific knowledge to practical purposes. So, okay, from the Latin word techne and logia, which means skill, craft, and in short, it is called applied science. And uh, now we have four examples of technology that we have that uh, possible by research and investigation that led to invention. Number one, we have food technology. Number two, we have DNA technology, nuclear medicine technology, and laser technology. So those are some of the examples. Then we have superstition and scientific. Superstition is entirely different from scientific because it is not with accordance with the law of nature. While scientific is with the accordance with the law of nature. So ito yung mga pamahiin, yung mga superstition. Then we have scientific attitude and behavior. So these are the scientific behavior and attitude that uh, has been observed to different scientists. Number one is curiosity. Number two is open-mindedness. Three, critical outlook. Four, truthfulness. And five, patience and perseverance. And those scientists are the experts in science who conduct investigation or research. Research is a study, inquiry, investigation. And there are four reasons why. Number one, to solve a problem, explain a natural phenomenon, to find ways of improving people's lives, and to discover and formulate new concepts. So, uh, scientists are so uh, very good to those kinds of areas. And lastly, tackle about the scientific method. And the first thing you should do is to observe. Then after that, you will find your purpose. Then you will make a research, your hypothesis. Then we have experimentation, analysis, and then conclusion. Okay, so for your assignment, kindly check this out. And then do not forget, you have your quiz also. Again, click the description below, that little triangle over there. And then click your form applications and then do not forget to send it to me right away. Thank you very much for watching. The science department here in Cayetano Aureliano High School. So, magkakaroon tayo ng interview sa one of our teachers here in uh, CAHS and uh, she's going to give us some uh, information about science and technology. So, here's the god teacher. She's Miss Margaret Bautista. So, ma'am, uh, what is your own perspective in science and technology? everything, everything around us, the nature's yeah. causes and effect. Science is the God. It's my God. 80 years long. <laughs> 80 years long. Walang pinaniniwalaan siya siya lang. Of course, without science, there will be no development, there will be no, yeah. uh, what I call this, evolution and growth around everything, in every aspect. As you can see, we have our students. Kasi namin ko pang tumatok. Okay, I think that's all. Yeah, Thank you very much. <laughs> sure, from CAHS. So, uh, he's going to give us another uh, point of view when it comes to science and technology. So, sir, Charlie Hermona, say hi, sir. <laughs> so, sir, what is para sa ang science and technology? So, science comes from a Latin word. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Here's another one. Uh, Interview din natin regarding uh, science and technology. She is Mom Perlita Billy. She's a great teacher. So, ma'am, 
ano yung opinion mo and what comes first in your mind when we are talking about science and technology? When it comes to, uh, when you first uh, um, heard of the word science, ang una ko siyempre naiisip yan, science means knowledge. Yeah. So, science is a uh, bar, 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 vast knowledge yan. And since nga siya ay vast knowledge, it is subdivided into different subject areas. Na yun Guys, ay, vast na uh, mabilis. So, <laughs> Bas, ibig sabihin, ano, malawak. Yung, ba, yung areas na yun subdivided into major uh, subjects na ngayon ay tinidiscuss ng ating mga uh, high school students such as the like science, biology, chemistry, physics. Ayan, napakarami yan. So, every every subjects na yan, marami pa rin subdivisions wherein we are discussing every, ano, every heating yan. And then, yung technology naman, that means application. So, if you have knowledge and application together, so yan ngayon, yung uh, ating tinatamasa ngayon sa science. Kasi nga, if we have the knowledge and we apply it on the technology that we have, so syempre, uh, ano yan, uh, yan ngayon yung, yung help or advantage na talagang uh, science ang nagbibigay sa atin. So, ganyan ka-importante. Thank you so much, ma'am. It's very informative, guys. So do not forget those things. Thank you so much, ma'am. Okay, so I think this is uh, the last one na interview na. Actually, kapapasok niya lang dito, pero i-rain natin siya. So, she's uh, Ma'am Rowie. Ma'am Rowie, what is your own perception when it comes to science and technology? Well, for me, Thank you so much, ma'am. And give me five for that. Yeah. So, guys, malay nyo, meron pa tayo mga interview ng iba pang teacher and uh, they will give us more information about science and technology, guys. You should love science. Science is everywhere.